Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this quick video tutorial, I'm gonna go over the new update to the Video Player 2.0 widget. Um, it's now Video Player 2.1. And if I go to my library panel, um, if you don't see the, your library panel, you can go to Window and click on Library. So here I'll type in VP2, and I'll bring in the Add First widget and I'll place it here at the top and then I'll bring in the VP2 HTML5 uh, video here. Uh, so one of the major updates in the 2.1 version is that the responsive, uh, the responsiveness of the video is now controlled by the resize option here in Adobe Muse. Um, so you can set it to none, responsive width, or stretch to browser width. Uh, before the responsive options were in the add first widget but now you can use the built-in resize options in Adobe Muse here. Um, so I'll go ahead and add video. I'll add an MP4, um, a dot, let me actually pick a different video here. Um, so let's do this one here. Yeah, we have an MP4, uh, dot webm, and dot OGV, or dot OGG. Dot OGG and dot OGV are, are basically the same thing. Um, so there I've added the three video files, and for the video player 2.0, you don't need to add uh, all three. You can add them for fallback support, but most browsers now support MP4, so if you just added an MP4 file, um, it would work. And I'll add a poster image as well. Okay, so there's the video, and I have it set to responsive width. So now I'll go to file, preview page, and browser. And if I resize the browser, there it is. We can see that it's fully responsive. Looks good. So I can make this wider and it'll still be responsive there. And the video is a 16 by 9 ratio, so it'll it'll inherit that 16 by 9 ratio. Looks good. And I'll add another video just to kind of showcase two videos here. So let me add another video here, Lighthouse. And there we go. And the poster image looks good. So there I have two videos, and these videos will be fully responsive. All right. Yeah, they're inheriting the 16 by 9 ratio. So usually you'll want to make this rectangle the 16 by 9 ratio, and you, the 16 by 9 ratio calculator is here. So you can see how large to make this rectangle as you're designing. All right. So we'll just move this down a little bit. All right, so there's the first video, and here's the second video. Looks good. So we have both those videos, and I'll add the icons uh, for the video player. So I'll go into the add first, add vi load video icons, and I'll go into the widget folder, and then we have this video icons.svg file. I'll double click there, and there we have it. So I'll preview in the browser again, and there we go. And the other update uh, with this widget, if we make it full screen, um, it now works really well with full screen. In the first version, um, some videos weren't working that great with full screen, so that has been fixed. And also on Windows computers, when you add the widget here, the add first widget, it doesn't get taller in height, so that has been fixed as well. So I'll just add a YouTube video so we can see that as well. So I'll add a YouTube and Vimeo video. And there we go. Initially, it doesn't show it here in Adobe Muse, but it will show once you preview in the browser. So there we go, we have the YouTube video, and it plays, looks good, and it's fully responsive. So I could say none here in the response, in the resize option, and, and there we go, it doesn't resize there. Or I could say stretch to browser width, and the video will be fairly lar large, because again, it's using the 16 by nine ratio. There we go. Uh, fully responsive there, stretching to browser width. All right, so that's it for the update. So to get at, to gain access to this widget, uh, you go to museforyshop.com, and let me make this browser a bit bigger here, and then you click on the pop-up here, and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Um, and here's the responsive video player 2.0. And here, if you wanted to purchase individually, you could click Add to Cart, or again, get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. And down here, we have the change log, the Video Player 2.0 widget, 2.1. So the issue with the video is not displaying correctly when in full screen mode has been fixed. 
The, resp the responsive settings can now be set with the built-in Adobe Muse resize option, so they're not in the at first widget. They're in. Uh, you can use the resize option in Adobe Muse. And the issue with the widget getting taller in height on Windows computers has been fixed. Yep, yeah, has been fixed, and the up there's updated code within the widget. Um, so that's it for this video tutorial. It's just a quick video tutorial on the new update to the Video Player 2.0 widget. Uh, so again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.